Holy crap. I just remembered. I contain bones. Sometimes fiction doesn't have a moral to the story. Sometimes fiction points at something and goes, ever thought about that? And you look at what it's pointing at just for, for a bit. You're like, oh, okay then. Me, chat, what do we think? The angel and the devil on my shoulders. Can, Can you, you not, not call us that, please? Uh, it's always inherited trauma and never inherited gothic castle in the Transylvanian mountains. Ugh. They are cults like smaller viruses trying to make it to the big leagues of virus fame? D d d yes. Call out post where it becomes more and more obvious that the person writing the call out has a massive crush on the problematic individual. Ah, Jolene. Yo, I forgot I had boobs and was in for the fright of my life when I looked down. This is why they start with boo, I think. Investing at seven notes. What if dark matter is just wrinkles in the fabric of space-time because no one has ever ironed it? Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. This is the hill you want to die on? Oh no, I just love arguing. I fully intend to leave this hill once it gets boring. Sorry for the confusion. Alternatively, this isn't the hill I want to die on. It's the hill I want to kill you on. Actually, you know what? A net zero information post teaches you a concept that others believe, or maybe that you would have believed, but isn't true. There's information there. It's like learning trivia, but instead of telling others, you can correct them if they have an incomplete understanding. For those of you that need clarification on what a net zero information post is, may I recommend the Tumblr post about the guy on Vine that would climb around Charlotte's flowers in his head and he'd keep seeing my berries. The post claimed that he was a CIA plant put on Vine to track down leftist activists. <laughs> Who decided that dragons have arms? They, they don't need them. Dragons need arms to hug. God damn it, you're right. Now hold it. If they're like a serpent dragon, they could hug you by just wrapping around you. And honestly, that sounds, that sounds way better. Dude, lesbian orc bars would be crazy. Not gonna lie, when I read bars, I wasn't thinking of the place where you drink and hook up. I was picturing lesbian orcs rapping, and I still thought, so true. Well, it's open mic night at the lesbian orc bar. Lesbian orc bards at the lesbian orc bar? Is this anything? Not gonna name names, but some of you are sweet and kind and deserve the world that I'm rooting for you. Dan, Toskarin, what's, what's your job? I operate the terrible machine. Can you make it a little less terrible? Only lever I can pull makes it worse, but I'm doing it slowly because I believe in change from inside the system. Hell yeah. One time I dreamt I was watching some video and they said, Well, you know what they say, a cameraman can grift twice, but a camera can only grift once. And I spent the rest of the dream trying to figure out what the fuck any of that meant. Recipes will be like, prep time, three minutes. And the ingredient list is like, two sweet potatoes peeled and diced. Like, girly, they don't, they don't come like that. Recipes will be like, cook potatoes until soft, about five minutes. Baby doll, you are on bath salts right now. Uber driver who, when you eat in their car, reaches behind the seat and does the dad hand thing. You know what I'm talking about. And honestly, my driver did that. I give them something. They're driving me home. Perceive with your eye spheres. The Great Eared Nightjar. Th this is a dragon. How is it possible for an animal to resemble a bird, a mammal, and a reptile simultaneously? Those are great ears. They didn't even show off their insane mouth. <laughs>